Cheers, Rich. From one navy to another, and a much smaller one, um, the Irish Navy, or the Irish Naval Service to be exact. Before I go on, some small background on the Irish Naval Service would probably be uh, useful. The, this is the current fleet of the Irish Naval Service from the Defence Forces of Ireland page, with that lovely Fiona Foyle um, cap badge up there. The current fleet comprises four offshoot for patrol vessels and two large patrol vessels. And the sea will soon be all better with two inshore patrol vessels. Yes, there's only one small problem. Um, there's only enough staff to run two of these vessels. So Rasheen and Eve there, Samuel Beckett, Ellie James Joyce, and the Ellie William Buckley Yates, and the Ellie or George Bernard Shaw, which are reasonably large vessels for what's essentially an enhanced Coast Guard. There's only enough staff to run two of them. Here's a report from the other day, and you'll see why I'm really concerned about this when I get to my next page. Incredible that Navy has only two vessels conducting patrols. Yes, it really is, and it's incredible. We've only got six or seven ships generally in, our, in the Irish Defence Forces in the Naval section at any one time, realistically, to patrol the whole of Ireland. The white, various white papers have recommended a fleet of at least 12 constantly, and it seems to kind of get ignored. Only two of the Navy's eight vessels will patrol Ireland's shores, the service has confirmed. It is incredible and completely abnormal that there are only two vessels conducting coastal patrols off the Irish coast, an independent TD has said. Just a quick point with that, Ireland has a lot more independent TDs, or what you'd call MPs here in England sitting, than you will find in, um, in the UK. You have a lot of people from minor parties and sometimes one-off TDs who are locally well-known sitting. It's not quite the as two party system. Well, in theory, at least, although at the minute it, it is because the two main parties are are engaging in a giant block on any other party. But that's a, a matter for another day. The naval service has confirmed that at present only two vessels are conducting coastal patrols. In a statement, it said that two OPVs, offshore patrol vessels, will conduct operations going forward. In a move prompted by an ongoing recruitment crisis, the third ship will be kept on standby. Great. Lovely. The decision to amend the operational model for the remainder of 2023 was made due to the continued loss of suitably qualified experienced personnel, SQEP. People do love acronyms. Loss of personnel in general and low levels of recruitment. The Navy noticed that the total number of new recruits to date in 2023 is 37. Last night, yeah, the total number was 28. You could find more people at a reasonably large bus stop. The Irish Naval Service is quite small, but that's not enough to keep it going. When the Navy consolidate and commence regeneration, it is planned for the standby OPV to revert to active patrolling as soon as possible, statement concluded. I mean, they've been saying that for about for several years now. Independent TD Cahol Berry, a former Army Ranger, said that having one quarter of the fleet operation is incredible and completely abnormal, particularly for a maritime nation like ourselves. Yes, I'd have to totally agree with the man. The dominant factor is pay, really, yes. that's The pay rates for naval ratings and officers are so bad that they can't recruit anyone. Navy service employees have very weak employment rights with no access to the Labour Court, Deputy Berry, setting a, a lack of ministerial intervention to ensure a level playing. And here's where I have a problem. Ireland is wide open. You weren't asking where the drugs guard are. That's so, why it's in rug. Rays are coming from. They're not coming in on the wind, the Deputy said. The vast majority have been landed on the west coast by surface vessels and perhaps even by submarines. Right now, the Irish Naval Service is 350 us, um, people under strength. Its normal strength is supposed to be roughly 1,100 people. So as you can see, it's not exactly a, a world power naval service. It's supposed to be an, an enhanced um, coast guard, really. It has limited armament. Um, but even so, uh, 1,100 people would be better than the current 750 or so. And here's why I'm really concerned. At least 20 million euros worth of cocaine seized on cargo ship in Limerick. 
Customs officers have seized a significant quantity of drugs in County Limerick, estimated to be worth at least 20 million euros. At least 300 grams of cocaine was discovered on a bulk carrier ship, which is docked in Foynes. The drugs were concealed in a bale, which is a buoyancy aid, and a beacon attached, which indicates they may have been intended to be thrown overboard and collected by a daughter ship. There's basically a, a perception among drug servers that it's quite obvious that Ireland is a soft underbelly of Europe and you can just wander around and chuck drugs through it endlessly because with a very limited naval presence, it's your your likelihood of being stopped is minimal. There have been a few high value catches and a high few high profile ones lately, but how much stuff is just going through that's been not been noticed and contributing to extreme drug addiction in other places. You cannot possibly, as the gentleman notes, and he should be a maritime navy and have two patrol vessels of around, if I remember, they're around 2,000 tons each. So they're two moderate-sized Corvette light frigate-type vessels patrolling the whole of Ireland virtually, leaving aside some aid from the north of Ireland where they're obviously... Uh, is another navy doing some of the work, but it is ludicrous to imagine this. It's like having two taxis in a to uh, patrol the whole of the West End looking for customers. The government in Ireland has historically always underfunded and ignored the defence forces and figured that Britain would do the heavy lifting. That is asinine and juvenile, and it's time to move on from it. Otherwise, you are going to end up with a flood of drugs in, this, in the system and a flood of drugs pass from there to other places in Europe, which will cause immense pain and hurt throughout Ireland and Europe. 